Hey folks, today I'm going to do an unboxing and quick review on this Kori coupler lock for travel trailers. Now Kori sent me this recently and asked me to give them my initial impressions on it and post a video. And I gotta say initially this thing is very substantial. This box is very heavy, but I was actually introduced to Kori through their water hose. I bought this one, well not this exact hose, but their water hose over two years ago. And I'm actually still using this. This is my go-to water hose for RV. So if you haven't seen my video on that, I'll put a card up above. But today we're gonna be looking at this coupler lock here designed for travel trailers. Now this product is fairly new to the market and basically it solves the problem of being able to secure your RV, your travel trailer or really any trailer for that matter, any A-frame that has a, a ball mount style coupler up front. So if you're watching this, you're probably concerned about security. You know, maybe you park your trailer, your RV at a storage lot and you don't go by often. You know, maybe it's once a month. You wanna make sure that while it's at that storage lot or wherever you store it, that no one can come in and take off with your your trailer here and so that's exactly the problem that this lock solves and so let's go ahead and unbox it this will be my first time opening up the box and seeing it in person and so these will all be my initial impressions here so first off of course we've got our instruction booklet here a couple pages it looks like it's got some nice pictures on it you can pause if you wish to see that it's got some really nice packaging very substantial, nice foam on top there. And uh, wow, actually that's larger than I thought it was gonna be. That's why it's so heavy. Wow, that is a very uh, substantial <laughs> lock. I'm really surprised how, uh, how much it weighs. So I just weighed it and it is over seven pounds. Can you believe that? I mean, this is like a little mini dumbbell. Check out how thick the metal is all the way around. I mean, this is beefy. This is no joke. It's got, it looks like a little key cover hole right here. Yep, and there's your key slot. And then we've got three extra covers. I guess if you lose the, uh, the little cover there, they give you three extras. That's kind of a nice touch. And then, wow, you actually get a total of four keys. The silicone little dust cover here, it's very firm the way it fits in and covers the keyhole. Well, let's go ahead and stick one of the keys in here by the way, let me give you a close-up of what the, the key design looks like so you can see there. We'll go ahead and stick it in here and then turn it. So I just turned it 180 degrees. Okay, so now then this drops down. And this is very, uh, very thick metal, by the way. So let's flip it over so you can kind of see how it works. So basically, this piece of metal, this little tongue, basically slides upward and takes the place of where the ball would go up into the uh, the coupler there. And so then it locks and secures so you can't take it off. So you can see how that goes in and out right there. And then the lock locks into that hole and keeps it from, from coming down. So it's a real simple design. The locking mechanism is all covered by this, this metal here. And this is very thick. This appears to be I think the same thickness of this outer collar here. So very well protected. It looks like it's got some, some welds in there that are securing this piece to the rest of the lock there. Then I'm also noticing that inside they've got a piece of foam adhered to the top of the collar so that you don't have metal rubbing on metal because that's gonna go right up here and that way you don't mess up the, the finish there on your tongue. And then inside I see a, a reinforcing piece, which I believe is to go just above this lip on your tongue. And so it basically would keep the lock from, you know, having play and going in and out. Well, let's go ahead and get this installed and see how it fits on my ball mount here. This is a two and five sixteenths, by the way, which is probably the most common when it comes to RVs. But I will mention this also fits two inch and one and seven eighth inch coupler. So pretty much all the, the different couplers out there. But to install it, we just have to have the locking tab extended all the way out there. So it's clear inside here. And then we're just gonna slide it on to the coupler head. And then I'm pushing up the locking tab down here. And then I believe we just have to push in on the, the keyhole here and have it click in. There we go. All right, so now the locking tab is secured. 
it's not going to fall down and so that's kind of what it looks like you can see the amount of play right here on my lock it's it's very minimal i mean every you know a frame and and ball mount is a little bit different there's different styles and so there's going to be a little bit of play but i mean this is this is minimal then of course we can put the little silicone dust cover on here to keep all the elements out of that keyhole and i like how snug that is i also like the foam that's under here that's protecting so you don't get uh, wear and tear on the finish of your your ball mount here and i'll give you some views around the back side so you can see how it fits again every coupler is going to be just a little bit different on the design i think mine is probably one of the more common designs but you can see when a company makes a product like this, they have to try to make it as compatible with as many different you know, tongues as possible. And so the only gap that I'm seeing is right here on either side. I can fit about a finger or so in here and slide it up and down just a little bit. Uh, same thing on the opposite side over here, but otherwise it's very snug all the way around. And then on the bottom down here, you can see it's got that thick, sheet of metal that's kind of protecting and encasing the actual lock mechanism now let's talk security on the lock how secure it is because after all if you're buying this lock your goal is to protect and secure your investment especially if it's at a an rv storage lot somewhere where you're not there 100 percent of the time and you know let's face it after all, all these locks whether you buy this one or another brand they're not guaranteed to protect your investment i mean at some point uh, a thief who's very well trained and professional and has the right tools can defeat any lock. It doesn't matter how good the lock is out there. But the goal is to make it difficult enough and hard enough where if a thief was at a storage lot scoping out all the different RVs there, they would see yours with this lock and say, you know what, that one looks a lot more challenging to defeat. Let me skip that one and go on to someone else's, right? And so that's really the purpose of having a lock like this. So I'm not a locksmith. It's not really my area of expertise, but just using common sense, looking at the lock. I like, first of all, that the keyhole is recessed in here. I think that would make it a little more difficult to try to you know, put anything in there and, and pry the key mechanism out. It's recessed a good probably quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch in there. So I like that a lot. And then I also like that this locking mechanism here, I mean, there's nothing to, to grip onto. I mean, you could try to put a vise, I suppose, on here and pull down, but I think it would just slip off repeatedly. So there's nothing, there's no way to really get a good grip on this piece right here and try to just by brute force, you know, pulling it down and defeating the lock. And so then we have these, you know, gaps that I mentioned over here where I suppose you could put a, a crowbar and then you know try to be prying against the lock but i mean look how thick this metal is here in fact this metal on the lock is thicker than the gauge of the metal on the coupler itself on this ball mount and so i, I don't think that would really prove to be very effective i think that really wouldn't do a whole lot in the end. And then as far as could someone, you know, cut the metal with a, with a saw, and I've never tried to cut metal this thick before, but I think it would be very difficult. I think your blade would get dull very quickly, and you'd definitely be making a lot of racket, you know, trying to cut into the metal. You'd probably have to make more than one cut and then try to, you know, pry it open. So I don't think that would be very, effective and then as far as the the key itself again guys i'm not a locksmith this is what the key looks like it's a different style of of key here and so you know i don't know how hard or how easy it is for someone that's trained in picking locks to you know just pick the lock with this style key but it's definitely different than a, a typical key so anyway just my two cents worth my thoughts on this lock like i said before you know the right person with the right tools and the right preparation, they can probably defeat just about any lock on the market, right? No matter how secure it is. But I think that this lock by Courier has enough security features in the design and such that if a thief were at an RV storage lot and they were scoping out all the different RVs and they see this lock here on your RV, they would say, you know what? I think this is more trouble then it's worth, let me skip this one, which of course is the whole purpose of having a defeat mechanism like this installed. But let me go ahead and remove this and then give you the dimensions on the inside of the lock so that you can see if it'll fit on your particular A-frame trailer tongue. So the key comes out real easily. I'm doing this one hand and I don't want it to drop. So I'm gonna grab it and it is really heavy and pull it down. But let's get some dimensions here 
on the inside because I think this is where people will want to know. So this is four inches across the widest, widest part. It is four inches and three eighths across right here. So that's the clearance. If you go out to your coupler and you measure across the widest part, you wanna make sure that you can clear four inches and three eighths across there. Then as far as the, the height here, between the lock mechanism and the top of the lock, it is two and three fourths inches tall. And so that's gonna to correspond to the bottom right here, all the way up to the top of the, the ball right there. You need to be able to clear two and three fourths inches. So in conclusion, those are my initial thoughts on the lock. It seems like it's very substantial. I'll begin doing some long-term testing on it. And so if you're watching this video later, be sure to drop me a comment below and, and ask, you know, how is it holding up so far, you know, six months, a year after the fact? Definitely drop me a comment below, but do me a huge favor. If you're purchasing this lock, I will include links in the description below to purchase this lock. So I appreciate you using those to support the channel. Also post any discount or coupon codes that I'm aware of to help you get the best price possible. If you have any questions about the lock, again, drop me a comment below. And as always guys, thanks for watching.